Hello, everyone. Can everyone hear Kaylee? Yep. Waiting for five. Okay. okay, perfect. Hi, Kaylee. How has your rain been during quarantine? Um, it has been a change uh, since the beginning of my type getting my title. Um, I mean, I started filming all of by myself in my room. I had a ring light. I would set up my phone. It would definitely uh, get a little tricky sometimes because I did all of that on top of uh, being a college student. But overall, everything just moved to my apartment and I did everything I did in New York at home. Next question. In a few hours, you'll be passing your crown. What do you feel? I honestly have no clue. Um, I am ready. I guess I'm ready to move on to the next chapter of my life. I've held this title for like a year and eight months. I'm one of the longest reigning title holders. I'm also now 20, so I'm no longer a teen. So I think I'm ready to move on to the next chapter. But yet again, I love my job. I absolutely love my job. Um, so I'm a little, a little sad uh, that I'm passing it on. And bouncing off of that, what is next for you? Um, so I, as I mentioned before, I'm a college student, so I'm going to continue my degree in communication. Um, hopefully at some point signing with a modeling agency, I really want to do that. And hmm, I mean, I think I'm going to end up getting a new place next year just because my roommate's going to college. So everybody's kind of growing up and moving to the next chapter in their lives. So just the world of change is about to happen, but I'm looking forward to it. Great. What has been your favorite moment as Miss Teen USA? Oh, my favorite moment, I think, would be when we took the trip to Brazil for Smile Train alongside uh, Chesley, Kat, and I, because I love babies. I am obsessed with babies. And the entire time we were there, I got to hold babies the whole time, which I absolutely adored. And they were so wonderful. And I got to learn so much about Smile Train and their initiative and how their organization helps um, different countries and people with cleft lip and palates. So that was one of my favorite times. And also we just got to hang out at the end of it, which is really cool. And we got to explore a little bit. Nice. Um, how have you changed as this rain comes to an end? Um, overall, I think I've realized the impact I can have on people, uh, how much words can affect one person to hundreds to thousands of people and how one action can affect that many people as well. I first saw this when wearing my natural hair on stage when I was crowned. Um, and even to this day, I have people messaging me about it and how much either the sons or younger daughters look up to me, which I, I think is still very crazy. Um, but I think it's also very cool. And I also just think I've matured a bit over the year. I mean, I feel we're constantly maturing and um, growing into ourselves, evolving. Um, but I think I'm also still the same me in a sense because I'm still goofy and I always say that I'm always going to be a kid at heart. So I'm really holding on to that. Great. What will you miss in New York? Oh, there's this little buffet place down the street from our apartment and whenever i would go to the city i would go there because i never brought my own food for some reason i always forgot so i'd always go to this buffet place and they had pesto pasta and i absolutely loved it and i get it every single time i went it was like a two minute walk and i miss i'll miss going there as well as um seeing zozy and being able to know that chesley and zozy are gonna be there um, when I get to the apartment, but I know I can always come and visit and Chesley's not going too far from the title holder apartment. So I know I can always come and visit. Um, what does being part of this class of MUO meant to you with respect to representation? It has meant the world. I feel, I always say this, but I, I never connected myself 
with this class and being part of the MEO title holders because I'm still young. Like I look up to Zozi and Chesley and being able to be a part of it. I think I always see myself as an outsider because I'm looking up to them and being like, whoa, they did that. And even though I'm a part of it, I still separate myself because they're an inspiration to me and I can look up to them and see all of that they've accomplished and how they speak and how they hold themselves. And it's just meant the world to be a part of history and to represent something amazing. And I think we have time for one more question with Kaylee and then we'll go to translate. Last questions. Everyone's just giving their praise. They're very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, here's the last question. What was your favorite memory with Chesley and Zosi of the three of you? My favorite memory happened very recently. Um, I mean, there's little tidbits involved in it. Like every time they'd FaceTime me randomly, they'd always pick up the phone screaming for some reason and I just scream back, which I always thought was hilarious. Um, but recently we had our last sleepover as reigning title holders at the title holder apartment and we watched the movie It. We, <laughs> we, um, we ate pizza, we ate strawberry cake, and we just got to sit and hang out with each other, which is something that we haven't been able to do in a while because of COVID. Um, so that was one of my favorite memories because I just got to get really close to them and spend time with Zozi, which is something that I haven't been able to do very much. <laughs>